hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how basically you can take the screenshot of the desktop and basically you can save that image as a jpg or png file here inside your node.js application so for this tutorial we will be using a special module that i will be showing you in this tutorial so the name of the module is called as screenshot that dash desktop so this is basically the module guys you can go to npmjs.com and type this screenshot dash desktop and you can see it's a very popular module it got 46,000 weekly downloads and uh, we will be showing you a very simple example how you can capture the screenshot so inside this first of all you need to simply go to your command line all the source code is given in the description of this video so you can just go to it and whenever you initialize your node.js project simply just require it so right here in the command line simply write here npm i and then screenshot dash desktop so simply you need to uh, install this module here screenshot desktop so once you install it you need to simply create a variable here which is screenshot and then you just need to require this which is screenshot desktop like this after this basically we will be also be importing the file system module which is a built-in module you need not have to install it and then guys basically this offers a constructor this is basically a function screenshot and basically it will take the screen screenshot of your desktop screen and whichever screen that you selected and then it basically returns a promise we can call the then method here and here inside this your image will be there image data so you will see this will be the image there you can call this anything this will be an arrow function and basically you can console log first of all let me see what this image looks like so if you see guys if you uh, just execute this application you will see that basically it returns this buffer data that you see right here inside your console so now we just need to uh, convert this cons uh, buffer data that is coming here inside the console we need to write this file inside your local file system so here inside left hand side we will store this file so for that there is a module inside file system which is write file synchronously and we will use this method here basically this method expects two arguments first is the file name so inside this i will call this as screenshot dot png and then you will provide your buffer data is the sixth second argument which is image that's all so now if you basically do this if you execute this it will automatically take the screenshot and it will save this file so you will see it has taken the screenshot this is screenshot dot png and now you can see it has automatically taken that screenshot you will see that basically it's a png file you can open this image file that you see right here it has taken the quality looks really good of the screenshot that it took it really the quality is really good you can see that and uh, this is basically the module guys it takes the screenshot automatically saves it and uh, i have written all the source code on my blog post you can copy paste all the source code and the nice thing about that if you want the uh, different format you can even provide that format basically as a property so let's suppose uh, inside the constructor itself you will see you can provide a property here which is a option here which is uh, format so basically you can provide a format here so this can be either uh, bmp em uh, gif jpg jpg png all that stuff so i can just provide here uh, let's suppose jpg so what it will do guys basically if you now console log we just need to basically again call this as jpg so it will just create a jpg file here you will see screenshot.jpg this is converted to jpg so this is not mandatory you can just pass here this format and also it takes the second parameter which is screen so screen basically guys uh, there may be different screens screens in scenarios if you have multiple web cameras or multiple screens and uh, here also it supports a method which is list displays 
with the help of this uh, you can uh, list out different kinds of displays if uh, necessary let's suppose you have it, uh, multiple screens out there it supports this method which is automatically it will execute and it will display it will execute inside this displays basically it will display the information about your displays so we just need to for i think yeah so this is basically the method guys uh, on my scenario i only have one display out there which is the single monitor screen so if you have uh, multiple monitors you can also take multiple screenshots from each monitor so this is my right is uh, all these properties dpi scale all that this is nice little utility kind of a library guys if you want to take your screenshots of your desktop machine and uh, store it inside a image file you can even do that and let's suppose you want to provide a custom file name you don't need to write like this you can just provide a file name property as well let's suppose inside here only file name Uh, let me see uh, this is screenshot yeah sorry you can just write like this file name this takes this property file name yeah file name and basically you can give this any set custom dot png and basically what it will do it will take the screenshot automatically it will save it as custom.png we'll see that so we don't need to use this fs module so it is not needed so you can directly provide this file name attribute and this will take the screenshot and it will give you the path of the image like this you will see that so this is your full path full absolute path so in this way guys you can uh, take screenshots please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well